The applause is not stop. I know, it's so great. It's so good. You're so silent. I love it. I love it. God bless you, audience. Thank you. I'm really, I'm so happy that we have an audience. It's awesome. Thank you. Okay. Welcome back to the Jason Show. It's the middle of winter. Hello. And all we want to do is warm up with a warm bowl of soup. Yes, we do. Here with our favorite places to get a bowl of soup from the weekly dish on My Talk 107, Stephanie Hansen. Hey. 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 Okay. So I've been really excited about this. We've been talking about this for a while. Yeah. Kendall, when I was here last time, she was like, where is the best place to get pho? And like, how about ramen? So I was like, oh, I'll do a soup segment for you. Yes. Oh. Absolutely. So and yeah. the first thing is pho. Yeah, at the there I have two places for pho. One that's kind of down and dirty is I Pho Saigon. It is actually one of my favorites. There's three size bowls. The extra large bowl, I swear, is like this big. And I saw a family of four once eating out of it. Really? Wow. Like you can yeah. put a baby in it? Like a yes, bathtub? completely. <laughs> oh, okay. um, I just, I love their pho. They do a really great job there. Also, if you want to be a little bit fancier, you can go to Non Bistro on University. That's more of like a place that's a little more tricked out, date night worthy. Um, and then ramen you mentioned. Wait, I wanted, I do oh, want to say, ahead. if you've never had pho, like people maybe are like, it's, what are you saying right it now? It is a, a Vietnamese broth that's got allspice and it's very fragrant. It's flavored with meat. And then there are rice noodles in it. And then you add like basil, you mm -hmm. can add um, bean sprouts, sriracha, all, all the, the stuff. Things. You can add lime. It's just a really fresh, it's healthy like soup. Good runny nose yeah, soup. Yeah, if you're sick. Yeah. It's so good. Perfect thing to eat when you're sick. And it's spelled like pho. So if you go to a restaurant, it's P-H-O. Oh, yep. It's pho, though. Okay, yep. anyway, back to ramen. All right. All right. And ramen is similar. It's a brothy soup, and it has uh, usually an egg noodle base. Mm -hmm. You'll also usually find those really delicious jammy eggs that have yes. the bright yolks inside it. Mm -hmm. And little meat, it's kind of a composed soup. So Zenbox Izakaya on Washington Avenue in downtown Minneapolis is hands down my favorite place for ramen. They're so great in there. Okay. All right, as for bisque lovers, a good lobster bisque here in town. Yeah, yeah. I really do love lobster bisque um, and Ocean Air, obviously, because they have so many lobster shells at their disposal. The key to that soup is really in the seafood broth. So I think uh, they do a great job there. And then we always, you know, Minnesota, like everybody's like, oh, wild rice, what is your favorite wild Chicken rice? Chicken wild rice. And Lunds and Byerly's has great wild rice soup for frozen. If that's your jam, then you should do that because it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. hmm. But if you want to go out, I think the St. Paul Grill has the best yeah. wild rice. Okay. okay. It's, it's okay. a little bit thinner, and it has sherry, which really moves it that's over the top I was going to ask me. you if you like it thick and creamy or if it's a little thinner because there's a big difference. Yeah, mm -hmm. and a lot of the not-so-great wild rice soups are kind of gloppy because they're too heavy on the yeah. roux. Right. This just really, the wild rice shines... It just, you can taste the sherry. I just feel like it's a really elegant take on a Minnesota soup. Also, a different take on a wild rice soup, pheasant wild rice. Okay, this is one of the best soups I've had this year. Really? And it's like a wild rice soup, but it's made with pheasant. And it's at Feller in Stillwater, which is inside the Laura Hotel. They feature sort of Nordic cuisine inside there and things that would be from the Minnesota region. Again, it's a thinner broth. Okay. But I can't stop thinking about that soup. And I actually was talking to my radio partner this weekend, and she was like, oh, I forgot about that soup. Because mm -hmm. it, it's that good. Yeah, and we had it earlier in the fall, but it's still on the menu, so and the it's really delicious. So what's the difference from chicken to pheasant, in your opinion? It's just richer. Okay. The pheasant has more of a dark meat taste, which I personally like. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit gamier feel to it, and it is thinner. I just feel like uh, in in soup that these dark meats really shine. Mm -hmm. I've heard the Laura Hotel is so beautiful, too. The Laura so Hotel, like, check it out. it's like, it's so amazing and it's beautiful. And if you get a chance to stay there, you should. I stayed there one night. It was heaven. 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 Um, heaven to me is French onion soup. That okay, I love on French list. onion soup yes, too. I love French onion. Okay, so Salou on Grand Avenue, they also have a location in Edina. This is like my perfect lunch because it's a really hearty, buttery bowl of rich French onion soup with the Swiss cheese that's melted. But then oh. they also serve this baguette that's like personal size with unsalted butter. So, like, you really don't need anything else, mm -hmm. just okay. the That's bread the meal itself, and yeah. totally. Wait, how big is a personal size baguette? Because, like, girl, like, this is a no, personal it's size like, baguette. No, it's like that big. Like, it's meant for two, but I yes. think it's personal size. There's I nothing better for, than, than dipping a baguette in French onion. Oh, no, nothing. there really like, isn't. Whatever it comes to soup, that's, like, uh -uh. the penultimate. And I book. don't love French onion soups that there's, like, one crouton. Mm -hmm. No. I, like, I want it loaded with stuff. Onions, cheese, bread, all the, all the fixings. Also, Don't going worry. back to thicker soups, clam chowder. Yeah, clam chowder is a really um, delicious soup. 
it can go really wrong because it can be just super gloppy mm -hmm. or it can go really right. And the clam chowder that I really love is, where did I have it here? Kincaid's, At Kincaid's in Bloomington and they have a location in St. Paul too. Ooh. Again, they do a lot of seafood there. So they've got that delicious seafood broth. It's a little lighter. I, again, I like cream soups that you can really taste what's in the soup, not mm -hmm. just the creamy gloppiness of mm -hmm. the, the mixture. Why do you keep saying gloppy? Because you, like, it you can't see get gloppy, them sometimes and it's, like, and it's just like thick and gross. It's like the word yeah. moist. I'm just like okay. gloppy. Yeah, but here's the thing. Sometimes soup that's gloppy, you can just serve it on a plate. Gloppy, I get where she's coming from. Moist, caress. These are all words we won't use with Kendall in the future. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Tomato soup. Okay, tomato soup is like people love tomato basil that has cream. Mm -hmm. I love that soup too, but there's one at Parallel. It's a coffee shop on Holden Avenue in Minneapolis, and it's pretty new. First of all, it's so beautiful in there if you're like one of these workers that goes from coffee shop to coffee shop. It is just really rich tomato soup. It doesn't have cream. I don't know how they even season it because there's not like flecks of basil in there. And they serve it alongside a grilled cheese. It's yes. like something I crave. Like I will drive specifically to this coffee shop because I know I can have that soup and that grilled cheese for lunch. It might sound like a weird question, but is the coffee shop big because sometimes when you want to go somewhere to get lunch and not just yeah. coffee you're like am i gonna get a table it's big there's lots of seats it's very white it's very bright oh, it's nice. very instagrammable it's just i love it i love going there <laughs> insta game yeah it's, what? it's high yours? on the insta game my my insta game could use work but you <laughs> know it's fine mine too <laughs> all right next one kind of like pho it, it's something that you may not be familiar with but apparently it's still pretty yeah good. so i love tortilla soup which you can find in a lot of great mexican restaurants but I also like pozole, which is a dried corn and hominy, and it's in soup. So okay. it's kind of like a corn flavored Mexican soup. And La Ocampos has a really great pozole. Um, they have St. Paul, Minneapolis. They have some suburban locations too. And it's just really hearty and rich, and it's like a whole meal. Oh, wow. I love I love La Ocampos. Okay, Certix Cheese Shop. Okay, this is like... Because it's, it's a deli, but every day they have different soups in there. They usually oh, have two mm. or three. They have a vegan version every day. They have a soup calendar online. You guys, these are some of the best soups in the Twin Cities, and they're in this little cheese shop. There's lentil. There's gumbo. There's creamy mushroom. There's shiitake. There will be pho. Like, they just do Everything. incredible gumbo, soups, I'm and every day it's different. <laughs> and, and, and always there's a vegan one, so mm -hmm. if that's your jam. And it's just you can buy them by the cup or the pint. It's fantastic. You had me at cheese shop. Yeah, cheese <laughs> shop. And the cheese. <laughs> More with Stephanie Hans when we come back. She's making a pair of soup. Yes. Ooh. And I'm going to eat it. It's shocking. I know. Yeah. Shocking. <laughs> Welcome back to the Jason Show. It's soup time. It is. We're back with Stephanie Hansen and she's sharing some instant pot and slow cooker tips when it comes to yes. making your own soups. We just showed you where you can go for soup, but if you want to try it yourself. So you everyone was making fun of me because I made 45 mason jars full of soup last week. 45? Yeah, oh, I had wow. a, I had like six soups that I okay. made. Okay. All wow. right, so we're going to start with just slow cooker soups. If you look in here, there's white beans that I've soaked overnight. If you're slow cooking, soaking your beans helps them be tender. Mm -hmm. So you're going to just dump okay. everything in you tell here, me what okay? You do. All right. So we've got just a bunch of ham. You can use smoked ham. You can use a ham hock. You can use leftover ham from anything. I like it very hammy. Okay. Ooh. You have your oh, celery, your the carrots. The vegetables. You have your, this is pepper and rosemary. You can also use sage, thyme. I just had to smell it. Yeah, I whatever feels good to you. I do too. It just smells like Thanksgiving. A lot of salt because beans need a lot yeah. of salt. Yes. So do I. I need a lot of salt on a personal level. You're going to, I do too. You're going to use about six cups of broth okay. if you want to pour that in. And we're going to cook this for eight hours. Now, do you have to mix overnight this up on first? slow. No, you don't okay, have to so do you anything. Just leave it like just, that. Yep. Okay. And then when you're done or before, I like to do it before, you can put the parsley in. So eight hours later, you're okay. going to have da, 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 a delicious da, 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 da. white bean soup. It's that easy. TV oh, magic. Oh, forget the onions. Oh, oh don't, don't forget, forget onions. onions. Yeah. Don't okay. forget the now, onions. Now we got now we're gonna have later. a delicious white bean soup. But so, for real, I mean, I, it's we are very clear. I don't cook, so um, you don't have to do anything. No. You just dump it like that. Yeah, yep. And you just turn your crock pot on, and you're gonna come in the morning, and it's gonna be done. I could be so impressive. Yeah, it's really, and it's a very easy soup, and it's super hearty. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, okay. I'm okay. more excited for here, because this is the part where I eat. This is more of a vegetable-based soup, <laughs> and it's an instant pot soup. So this took me 15 minutes to cook. 
Oh and my that's gosh. It. Stephanie, hands in your phone. I is think going my phone off? is in my purse. Don't people know that you're on and TV? It's ringing. She's people on just want to know more recipes. That's what I'm saying. That's the best. That's all it is. Someone's like, oh my God, I'm watching you on TV. Okay. Wait, say that again. I need to go back. So, eight hours. Eight that's hours all you need here. to know. Yep. This is ham and bean soup. That's it. This is 15 minutes. And inside here, I already cooked the soup, I instant potted it. We had uh, tomatillos, we had peppers, oh, wow. we had. Uh, chicken mm. that I put in. We had, yeah, it doesn't look that so pretty. It, it actually soup. looks very ugly, but it smells yeah, delicious. Yeah, and it's a southwestern soup. And mm. when you, I want to show you how to do quick shredding a chicken. So you yes. instant pot this <laughs> Please, chicken. Please, because I don't know how to do it. You just do it with a fork. Look how easy it is. Oh. You've never shredded chicken before. Girl, you know I haven't shredded chicken before. I don't I did cook. Not know. I did not I know. I want to like have a quick little lesson with you because I think for people that don't yeah, cook, it's it hard, but know. it's not. It's I I okay. Reach in. I enjoy eating the food that people Speaking like of. you love to make. So that's this how I feel. is the southwestern soup. It's yep. got the chicken in it. It's got some avocado. A lot of what's important about soup is to have fun garnishes. I've got some little chips. I put some lime squeezed over there. I'm gonna put this chicken inside the soup. Ooh. So you cook it for the, I'm sorry, you said eight minutes? Oh no, 15 I cooked minutes? This for 12 minutes, 12 and minutes. then I just let it sit for a couple of minutes more. And then you put the chicken in. The chicken cooked in the there. The chicken's already in oh, there. Oh, and then, and then, then I took it out. I'm you, and I shredded it. Oh, so you cook it and then, then yeah, take it out and shred it and, and put it. Out. Yep, because part of what's flavoring that soup is that delicious chicken that's making a chickeny broth. Okay, let me let me try this. All also, these... instant pot. I always thought yes. it was an insta pot. No, I did instant. Too. And it's not super instant. We were corrected this morning. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's just, yeah, it's like a hearty. Is that hearty... the seal of approval? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love the avocado. It I really adds. I want to be on the soundboard. See, because mm -hmm. I think soup always needs a good garnish. Like for this, okay. you could garnish it with um, like rosemary. You could garnish it with little frizzles of like fried up ham. Oh. oh, or even bacon on the top. Yes, and there wow. is um, there is another recipe too that has bacon in it. I put all these recipes mm -hmm. on our website. They'll po post a link to it. So mm -hmm. there you Absolutely. go. Absolutely. I you know, and I ha I think what I like about this one too is it just like you said the garnishes are important, but it really does serve well. It's pretty. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and there's tomatillos in there, which people don't cook with that often. It's just like a green. It almost looks like a green tomato, mm -hmm. and it has kind of a limey taste to it. So mm -hmm. that and then that's right. Yep. Serving a little lime at the end really gives you that bright, fresh flavor that you want in the middle of February. All right, give it up for Stephanie Hansen. All right, thank you. Thank guys. you for joining us. Yeah, yeah, glad you like it. It's so good. You can also you can listen to her show. It's fantastic. Weekly Dish Saturday mornings at nine on My Talk 107. And like she said, head to the website stephaniesdish.com for all these recipes. We'll be posting it on our Facebook page too. Just check it out. Jason Show TV on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.